My E46 cracked the HUD. How do I know? Well, I'm gonna show you. The previous owner told me that he did a CO test. What is a CO test? You have this testing liquid that is blue and it reacts with exhaust gases. And the way you check it is, you plug this into the cooling system and then you have this adapter and then you fill in the fluid. If the fluid comes in contact with exhaust gases, it turns green or yellow and that's an indicator that there is exhaust gases in your cooling system which means that you have either a cracked hat, blown hat gasket or whatever. Since we don't have sludge inside of the oil and cooling system I guess it is the hack that cracked towards a cooling port. The way you do it is you just have the engine cold so I'm gonna open the coolant cap, fixate this kind of firm, then put the funnel in like so and then I'm just gonna add a bit of the uh, testing fluid. Like this, that's already enough. Now it is still blue. Now I'm gonna turn on the car and let it idle for a bit. And it's gonna turn yellowish, greenish. And now in a very short amount of time, it will change color. Because exhaust gases are escaping through the liquids and reacting with it. You can already see that there's exhaust gases pushing it away, building up pressure. already starting to change color as you can see it's completely yellow so this means we have exhaust gases escaping through the cooling system which also means that that is why we blew the radiator in the first place what happened well I don't want to lean myself too far out of the window, but I actually think the previous owner lied to me. He told me that he did several of these tasks, running them for 10 minutes and nothing happened. Well, frankly, I don't believe it because why would the radiator blow then? Hmm, what are we going to do now? As you can see, there's also no sludge on the cap, so there's most likely not going to be any cooling running into the oil. And there's also no sludge inside of the cooling system, except there's pressure escaping through it. I know the opinions vary a lot, but this is just some cheap sealant I found on Scamazon and we're going to test it. I'm not going to show the uh, manufacturer since this is not promotion. I'm just going to try it. If you can use these cheap like hat gasket sealants, in case you're in a similar situation where you just have a tiny leak and you don't have coolant and oil mixing, because when you have coolant and oil mixing, the head and block is probably warped and that's how they mix. I don't have coolant in the oil, I don't have oil in the coolant. I also don't have anything leaking and the engine functions as normal. It doesn't smoke out of the tailpipe, so I think everything is normal and it's just a tiny crack inside of the head. So my hopes that this is gonna fix our issue lies somewhere around the 25% mark, so I'm just willing to try it, spending 15 bucks instead of changing the engine and or rebuilding the old one. So, we're gonna check it. I've been shaking this uh, thing for a few minutes now, and I've also taken out around the volume of this flask from the cooling system, so it shouldn't run over. And now I'm just gonna dump that straight into there, and then I'm gonna follow the instructions on the back. There's uh, some of these products that say you need to remove the thermostat. This one doesn't say that, so I'll just leave the cooling system as is and just dump that straight into there. It specifically says on smaller engines without AC, just use half of the bottle. Since this is a six cylinder with AC, I'm just gonna use the whole bottle, just how the instructions tell me to. This is so thick. It feels absolutely wrong dumping this into here and FYI, I know this will clog up my cooling system. It's just because I want this engine to have another, another life for like half a year, one year, until I get my hands on a bigger one. And um, yeah, this ain't working. Like, it's already filled to the max. So I'll just start the engine right now and then add a bit more of the product once the, uh, the level drops down right here. Now I'm just gonna let the car idle for the like 15 minutes the product tells me to. The whole bottle is now in there. And now we're just gonna wait till the timer is over. And the product specifically says to close the cooling system. Now that everything is in there, I'm gonna close it as intended. After the timer is over, the bottle says to just let the car cool down till you can open this, the reservoir cap. Then you have to fill in the coolant back in and you're supposed to leave the product in the system permanently. The best thing is, a $15 bottle 
repairs the engine. The worst case is I have to pull the engine and upgrade. So there's only like positive things going on. So the timer just stopped. It's beeping still. And I'm uh, letting all the excess pressure vent, as you can see, and, and probably here. So, a few days later, I've had the car just shut on, shut off, running it hot, and then just letting it be, cool down, and the same cycle again. And the tester stays blue. The car has been running like that for 10 minutes. And um, it's already an operating temperature. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say because I definitely don't trust this thing. I actually thought that uh, the product wouldn't do any difference, but the tester has 100% accuracy and uh, it stays blue, so I don't know what you think, you know? Like, it's blue, blue, you know? That's why. I'm still gonna buy another engine, but I think I'm just gonna risk it and uh, try to go through the registration process like that with the exhaust gas tests and everything because I don't want to miss these because I have another engine and then I have to source one of these and then etc etc shouldn't change anything because uh, they're all over three but uh, whatever um, yeah this is really weird but uh, apparently these products work and uh, it's definitely a time and a place for that this was the place and time so I'm glad I tested it and um, yeah I don't know and the bubbles coming out I think that's just because uh, the coolant's expanding because uh, I've put that in when the car was cold and now it's getting hot and toasty so uh, the water's just expanding but yeah anyways thanks for watching and see you in the next one